Hello, I'm Reba Carroll, and I am an assistant director at the Stuckard Career Center at the University of Kentucky. So today we're going to uh, share a little PowerPoint about how to write a personal statement. Many of you are thinking about that right now as you're getting ready to enter graduate school or uh, apply to professional schools. So um, we're going to sort of break it down to take some of the mystery out of writing a personal statement and hope that it's helpful for you. All of you have been muted, and uh, but if you have any questions, you can uh, uh, ask me those questions in the chat and we can talk about that at the end. So let's go ahead and let me share this screen with you. Okay, so what is a personal statement? Um, graduate and professional schools require um, professional statements in order to learn more about you because there's only so much that they can get from a, even a resume, a CV, uh, sometimes um, they don't get a lot of information out of a transcript. For example, they can see your ability academically, but they want to know who are you? Uh, are you a good fit for their program? And uh, so they, they want to do a little deeper dive as to about why you want to do uh, what uh, you can do with them. Why them, for example. So they want to know about life experiences. They want to know about interest, achievements. Um, they want to know challenges that you may have faced so far in life. And not only what those challenges were, but how did you overcome them? That speaks volumes about who you are. And it can also enlighten them again, as I said, as to why you want to study with them. So they want to know if you're a right fit. What is your focus? What is your passion? Uh, what drives you aside from the aptitude to complete a program successfully? So first is how do I write a personal statement? Well, there are many different types. So first we're going to talk about what those couple of types may be before we really look at how to write one. Um, depending upon the school, uh, a personal statement is usually one of two different styles, an essay or a comprehensive style. So with the essay style, it consists of it, several essay questions, usually three to eight that are directed at learning specific things about you. So why did you choose the field? Uh, what do you know about our faculty? How do you plan to use your education upon completing the program? These types of questions that really require you to sort of um, tell a story. It's, it's part of a conversation. It's just not a, a closed-ended type of question that they'll be asking. So make sure you take time to read these essay questions thoroughly, respond to every part of it, um, follow their guidelines presented for the essay. So a big part of uh, writing is to not only learn about your writing ability, but do you follow directions? Are you thorough? Uh, so think each answer through completely and don't rush the process. Again, when you're getting ready to write a personal statement, don't uh, put it off. Just go ahead and start putting bits and pieces of it together and eventually it will congeal into a personal statement. So the comprehensive style gives you the opportunity to share your uniqueness in a storytelling format. There's usually not, uh, with the comprehensive style, they may uh, not even give you a, a length requirement. So you can, can talk uh, uh, quite a bit, sort of like writing a, a curriculum vita. So admissions committees are looking for non-generic statements that are interesting and revealing and show that you are distinct from other applicants. So your statement should uh, show insightfulness about who you are and the goals that you've set for yourself. Before you write, think about yourself. Talk about it with others. And remember, what is special, unique, distinctive, impressive about you in your life so far? What are your personal characteristics? How do they enhance your likelihood of success in your chosen field? In other words, why are you a good fit for it? So here's something very important. Talk to other people about you. Uh, ask friends and family, how do they perceive you? What are your strengths according to them? Um, again, you may be surprised at their positive feedback on the traits you possess that you have not thought about yourself. 
So get that, that feedback from friends and family, especially those who know you, have known you a long time and those who love you. More specific things to think about before writing. What are some of the challenges you faced in your life? Um, and it, it doesn't have to be some huge earth shattering type of challenge. It could just be something that made you uncomfortable that you had to overcome. Was it illness or injury? Did you have to work to put yourself through school? Were there issues with finances or getting financial aid? Especially talk about times where you had to adapt to new environments, to cultures, languages, um, a new way of doing things. A big part of the selection process is they want to know that people are flexible and that they can adapt to change. And um, so this is a good opportunity to give examples of that in your life. So um, more specific things to think about. What have you learned about your field through the hours that you've worked, uh, gone to class, studied? Uh, when you volunteered, what have you learned? What have you read? Have you shadowed? And uh, what about seminars or completed projects throughout college? And if, especially if you can quantify hours such as internship hours or shadowing hours, those are always good as well. And another thing to think about, what are the three most important things you learned about your field? So as you can see, there's quite a bit of uh, uh, soul searching going on here. Uh, you, you need to uh, look within and see who you are and discuss who you are. Lastly, think about why you want to go into your given field. Caution, this is where a personal statement can get very boring to the reader and sound like everyone else's. Uh, you want to avoid generic statements such as I've always wanted to help people. That's great. Don't let that be the theme of your personal statement necessarily. Now we can start writing. So tell your story, but tell it truthfully. Tell it honestly. We recommend you find a hook that can grab the reader's attention and hold it in the first one or two paragraphs. For example, um, I had been in the tree for two hours and it was getting dark and I couldn't figure out a way to get down, so I jumped. That was the cause of my first visit to an emergency room. So, you know, you've probably had writing courses and you know about how to write, but make that story your storyline. That is going to grab my attention if I was reading that. I would want to find out. Uh, what bone did you break? <laughs> what was it that happened that landed you in the emergency room? And what does that have to do with why you want to join my program? So like any good writer, you want the reader to know, to want to know the rest of your story. So after the first paragraph or two, you can start building in your characteristics that tie into the storyline, your experiences, your achievements that all relate to your story. Summarize your discussion by stating reasons that your story makes you a promising candidate for the program you're applying to. You're marketing yourself here at this point. You are a product that you are marketing. As, as uh, impersonal as that may sound, that's exactly what you're doing. You're showing them that you're a good fit. So now that we're uh, thinking about some more writing tips, use the jargon and specialized language of your chosen profession but don't overinflate the paper with jargon to the point of sounding pretentious. Define some terms and spell out any abbreviations which your readers may not be familiar because you can make the assumption that they know that what you're talking about, but we don't want to do that. Go ahead and, and spell that on out for them. Pay close attention to spelling and grammar. Have several others proofread your work. So uh, remember your ability to write is also being scrutinized attention to detail is key. So if you misspell someone's name or misspell, especially a, a word that is it's a special word within your field, uh, that's going to throw them off, okay? Because they're saying you're not paying attention to detail on this document, so you might not pay attention to detail uh, later on. If you've already sent it in and you realized you might have misspelled a word please, word, please don't panic about that. You know, mistakes happen. But try to be as a uh, concise and um, uh, trouble-free in the beginning before you send this thing out. That's why you want lots of folks looking at it because my eyes may pick up 
a typo that you didn't because you've seen it so many times your brain overlooks it because a lot of hours go into writing these things. So get a, a few extra pairs of eyes on your document before you send it out. What not to do, please don't lie about who you are and your life experiences. Same as is, you know, when you're writing resumes and CVs, be honest. Don't be repetitive just because you're trying to fill up space. And try to avoid references to high school academic experiences and accomplishments unless they're unusually extraordinary and affected your um, development toward the field you're going into. Uh, for example, let's say you are an Eagle Scout and that was something that you started in the second grade and it took you through high school to complete. That says a lot about your tenacity and your grit and your uh, willing to follow through. So that might be an example that uh, that you could could throw in there as well. Avoid topics that are controversial such as religion or politics. Um, never let current events bleed into your um, personal statement, especially in any type of judgmental way. And lastly, never divulge anything about yourself that is negative or makes you feel uncomfortable. Yes, you are sharing about who you are, but never to the point of, of oversharing and telling people things they really don't need to know in order to see if you're a good fit. So use good judgment about that and never put yourself in a, a position that makes you uncomfortable. So, um, questions, I don't have any questions in the chat box. And we are looking at um, the uh, James W. Stucker Career Center. So uh, please be sure to, to reach out to us, um, whether we are meeting face-to-face -face or online, because you can make appointments with us through Handshake. Uh, usually a personal statement uh, appointment lasts about an hour or we can go longer. You can share your documents. We can use phone, email, Zoom appointments, however you want to do that that makes you uh, comfortable for that. Uh, once you graduate with an undergraduate degree, we will work with you for an entire year after you graduate. And, and working with these resources, writing documents, everything from job search and, and graduate school, um, applications um, to interviewing. So uh, once you become, uh, those, that year is up, you become an alumni and you can join the UK Alumni Association and get help from their career services office. You get two free visits a year for them and they also have the, the same resources that we have. So I hope writing about the personal statement was helpful to you. Uh, again, my name is Reba Carroll. Please feel free to reach out at, uh, at on your Handshake account. If you are enrolled or if you've graduated from UK, you have a Handshake account, okay? Uh, it was great talking with you. Have a great day. Stay healthy and stay safe.